Hey, before we start, I would like to say a big thank you to our patrons. Special honor to Eric for his great support. Thank you to Simon Sineda, David Hensel, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl, Erich Gangel, Renat Bauer, Theresa, and Maximilian Henle. Without your help, we can't make our game Cortex and this YouTube tutorial. My name is Simon Gengel and today I will talk about how to create a facial expression for low poly 3D character or creatures. Low poly characters have a different setup for facial expressions than high resolution 3D models. Low polys need to care about polygon count and performance for the intended platform, so we have less geometry in the face. I will show you in this tutorial how we solved this problem in our game Cortex. The facial expressions are not defined within the face texture of our 3D model because if so, we need to change the whole face texture again and again. We create additional geometry almost above the face structure. The UV island for the eyes or the mouth are placed on a particular place on our texture. The texture contains different facial sprites, which are organized by a grid. The script controls the needed texture sprite by moving the UVs. But let's start from the beginning and how to do this. 1. The Mesh Select the faces which should define the eyes on one side of your face of your 3D character. Basically you should take as well those faces which should define the eyebrows as well. But this character is some kind of special and we will not animate the eyebrows yet. Duplicate those faces and move it almost in front of your face structure. Separate from your body. Do the same with the mouth area. Two, the UVs. Go to UV Editor and unfold your UVs again. We will assign a new material for the facial expression. So we need a new UV map for those parts. So how to organize now our sprites? 3. The grid. You should think about your facial expression sheet. How many and which kind of expressions do we need? Keep in mind that we are creating tomb facial expressions, which can be pretty overstated. So you need a state of eyes and mouth for normal, friendly, mad, surprised, happy, sad, confused, intense, angry, frightful, and so on. There are so many expressions. Write the list of those states you need. We don't need to draw both eyes because the eyes can be mirrored. Our texture only needs a slot for one eye and the mouth. Create a rectangle which contain your IUV island and another one for your mouth. This rectangle is now one grid cell. Organize your UV space by placing a cell beside each other without any gap and use the max width. Duplicate the cell line as well vertically till you use the full potential of your texture space. In our case, the mouth is mostly covered by a beard. The characteristic of our little villager here is as well pretty unemotional. So I keep the used texture space for his mouth pretty low. And even though the character shouldn't speak very much in game if you try to talk with him. So yeah, it's a little grumpy guy. 4. The texture. After defining your crit, you can start to draw the needed emotion to your grid cells. There's nothing special to tell you about this step, but let's head to the next step, which is more important. 5. The materials. Very important is to create a new material for the facial expression sprite sheet. While drawing your single sprites, you can check them on your mesh if you refresh the texture in Blender.
Duplicate the eye mesh so that you see the full facial expression. Both eye meshes share the same UV space right now, but in Unity you will be able to navigate the position of each UV island. One of the most important things is the use of three facial expression materials. Each facial expression plane should be an independent mesh and should get a own material. It is very important that all three facial expression mesh don't share the same material. But Severin will talk about the reason in detail in the next part of this tutorial series. If you like this tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further tutorials. We love the creating tutorials, but we need as well some support. Become our patron and help us to help you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you the next time. Cheers!